Okay, we should start. Let me stop my mic here. Let's go. ¿Por qué no escucha? ¿Vos tenés el micrófono abierto? Voy a cerrar acá. Ahora, okay. Thank you, thank you very much for being with us. Uh, for those on site and online. Hola, Sandy, querida. Hola, Raidme. Hola, Carolina, Jacqueline, Mariela, Osvaldo. Um, oh, Carolina, ¿cómo estás? Uh, for Carolina, Sandy y no sé quién más está, ah. Osvaldo. Vamos a tener la sesión en inglés, pero yo voy a traducir. No quieren hablar en inglés, yo voy a traducir no simultáneo. Hola, Marqui. Hola. ¿Todo bien? Que es mi nueva profesión en esta, <ríe> en esta reunión, <ríe> hacer traducción no simultánea. Eh, si les parece bien, la idea sí, de perfecto. la sesión es mostrar, eh, yo voy a mostrar un video primero, eh, un PowerPoint muy breve con algunas fotos y algunas referencias. Lo voy a hacer en inglés. Y después eh, me gustaría darle la palabra a Carolina, a Osvaldo y a Mariela eh, y para que nos, nos den algunos comentarios sobre la visión desde la universidad. Y después unas preguntas acá para, para nuestros colegas que nos acompañan, Claudio, Sandy, que está virtual, y, y, y Mark. Eh, Sandy y, y amigos de Argentina, no es tan malo el horario. ¿eh? Acá es muy temprano, pero allá es tardecita la tarde del miércoles. So I will switch to English now. Thank you, thank you very much for being with us in this last day of the IGF 2023 in the beautiful city of Kyoto and the beautiful country of Japan, which I love very much. And it's so nice to be back again to this nice country and, and visit it again and from such a long way from Argentina. I think it's the most distant place that we can travel from Argentina to here. There's no, no other place which is so distant like Japan. So it makes it very, very special for us. So what I, we, we want to share with you is a story that started in 2009, but has changed very much in the last two years because of uh, uh, some agreements that we have done with very good friends of us. Um, I, I'm here with our dear friends from Universidad de Paraíba, my dear friend Claudio, my dear friend uh, Marky, Marky fue alumno de escuela, sorry, <laughs> was a student of the school and uh, Universidad de Paraíba was our partner in the last meeting. And I want to show you some pictures and also we have our friends from Internet Society Foundation that has been helping the school. The school is, is possible thanks to the contribution from different stakeholders, companies, governments, universities, some, some of them um, give uh, funds and some other give uh, help in different ways. So I will show you a, a PowerPoint, which is not long, but I think that the most beautiful thing from the PowerPoint are the pictures. Uh, I prepared it in English, but um, you can figure out the, let me take this out. No, is this, ah, okay. So um, this is the first one. This is about the South School of Internet Governance started in 2009 with the idea uh, that uh, I want to show you in a moment in the next slide. This is a very nice picture that we took in one of the two editions that we organized in, this in Washington DC in the Organization of American States venue. In the middle of the, of the picture you can see uh, our dear Vint Cerf, it's by my side in the middle, I am with a pink uh, jacket. And uh, uh, we organized it there two times in 2016 and 2018 because the Organization of American States was interested in the activities of the school. There you see the, the group of 200 fellows that was a very nice meeting. And uh, this is also a very, very nice meeting uh, for, for all of us that we are here <laughs> and remote. Uh, this is the, the group that gather in Campina Grande in the state of Paraíba in the northeast of Brazil. Thanks to the help of our friends uh, Mark, Claudio, um, Percival, que, uh, he, he is not here, but he, he helped us. Also with the support of C CGIBR, who helped with funds, uh, Internet Society Foundation, and, and other companies that helped with, with some funds, we could gather the same amount of fellows that we had before the pandemic. 
Um, before the pandemic, we used to have 200 fellows. We went totally virtual during two years in the pandemic. And then last year in Buenos Aires, we gathered less people because we were just getting out of the pandemic and we were not sure if we could, um, if we could uh, be safe. So uh, it was smaller. Mark was there with us. And this year he came not as a student, but as a, as a, as a, as a expert and also he helped us a lot uh, with uh, what we did with Claudio and, and Percival. So why we thought that this idea was interesting in 2009, we wanted to enhance the participation of Latin America in all the internet governance processes. So we, we want to increase the number of representatives, but also we wanted to increase their relevant participation. Not only being there, but also being there, making comments and mm, proposing uh, things that could have an impact for Latin America because the problems of, of Latin America are unique. We are uh, the, the most beautiful region in the world. <laughs> it's diverse and beautiful, uh, but we have huge inequalities, which is unique in the world. There, there is no other region in the world that, that has... Uh, I live in Buenos Aires and, and I live in, in, a, in a neighborhood that, is, that has a connectivity like, I don't know, Manhattan, but then um, 500 meters away, you have a, a poor neighborhood that it's in, in, in problems. So that, that, that huge difference, the uh, inequality, is, is, is a really something from Latin America that we are trying to solve for many years, but, but makes it different. The needs that we have and the problems that we have are different from what happens in Africa or Asia or Europe or North America. Mm -hmm. So having that perspective and bringing that perspective to the international negotiations is what we wanted. So this is why we started with the school in 2009. It has been growing. And also we grant fellowships to all the participants. Nobody pays for participating in any of the activities that I will show you now. That has been growing. So um, we had gender balance from the day zero. Same amount of ladies and, 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 and men as, as fellows. We try to do that with experts. That is more difficult, but we, we try to do that. All the activities are free. We had from day zero translation into English and Spanish. And the three times we organized it in Brazil, it has also translation English, Spanish, and Portuguese. And um, um, the target audience, many people tell me, should I attend? Why? Wh who, is, who is attending? Why? Um, really, the target audience is quite broad. The only thing that you want to have is desire to learn about how the internet works, how to get involved in the different spaces where the internet is defined, where the rules that make the internet work is defined, are defined. So this is what you want to um, do or, or you want to have in mind. And also, we want people that is not already much involved in the process. We want people from, from the boundaries that are interested in getting involved. Of course, th we have fellows that are involved, like, like Mark, for example. But, but the, most of them should be people that really want to. We don't have any age limit. We had um, from s high school students to people that it's uh, young like me for many years. This is, I copied it from <laughs> Claudio. <laughs> uh, so uh, we think the diversity is nice from young people to experienced people, uh, women, men, and, um, and, and I think the diversity, we think the diversity is beautiful. Also in, in backgrounds, we want engineers, lawyers, um, journalists, uh, um, specialists in, in, in international relations and uh, all together diplomats, um, parliamentarians, all together makes a really very interesting mixture. So um, this is the picture of, of the evolution. You see uh, at the beginning we were less. The big, the big uh, the quantum leap was in 2012 in Bogota where we started to have 200 people. Before it was a little bit smaller and since then we never uh, apart from the pandemic issue, uh, we never went down in the number of attendees. The, the thing really changed in the pandemic because now we are totally hybrid, which brings a new complexity for the budget and for the technology involved in the meeting. But, um, uh, but it, it also brought a very new thing. We have fellows from all over the world. 
We have from, from India, Italy, Africa, and I will show you now the, the, the first cohort of, of diplomats. Of diplomas. Um, so this year in Campina Grande, we had that, that group of people on site that you see in the picture in the upper part of the, of the presentation. And then we had like 200 online from many, many places of the world that I will show you in a moment. So like three years ago, I got in touch with my dear Cristina Parraga, who was at the, my professor at University of Mendoza, where I, I studied engineering. Unfortunately, she's not among us anymore. Um, I'm so sad for that. Sorry. Um, so uh, she was, uh, we talked to her several times about the idea of involving a university and enhancing the program with, um, with a university diploma and with her research. And she was, she really understood the concept. We, it's not the first university that we contacted, um, but she understood the idea and uh, she talked with the authorities, with the dean of the university, and then the colleagues that are now in the, in the call with us followed that idea, and, but she was the one who started it, so I'm grateful for her help. And she was my, my professor at university also, so she was a very, very good teacher and a pioneer among women engineers. When, when I studied, we were very, very few. We still are very few, but at that time we were much less. So um, this is the picture of my, my dear university, and uh, this agreement allowed us to offer this uh, diploma. So now we have three stages. What we started with one week of training has evolved. The people that were attending the one week said that it was a lot of information at the same time, that they needed more, more train, pre-training. So now we have an online training, uh, self-assisted, based on videos, podcasts, and, and reading material that we prepare, uh, our team has prepared in Spanish, English, and Portuguese. That is, uh, that is uh, given through uh, like eight weeks, three, three hours per week. And then it's the one week intense, 40 hours, uh, on-site or virtual. And since last year and this year also, we have added the possibility of making research with tutors of the university. And uh, that allows those who finish the, the research uh, properly to receive a university diploma from the University of Buenos Aires. All the materials are in the YouTube channel. After each uh, school, our team um, it splits all the presentations, the uh, keynotes and, and panels, in, and, and puts a sign. So you can easily find in the YouTube channel all the content if you want to review it or you want to make a research or just curious about uh, what happened in the school. And we were recognized by the WISIS um, prizes as um, pioneers in, in in capacity building related with the internet. This is a picture of the day that we, there was a virtual ceremony with the first cohort of, cohort of um, diploma that we, that we, that we share. There's Claudio there, Percival. Was it not Stavala? No invité? Qué mal, oh, qué mal. Voy a invitar a próxima. Uh, and it's Cristina, the picture of Cristina, uh, dear friends from Universidad de Mendoza, that I will give the floor to them. And, um, and there you have um, students from uh, Africa. You can see them on the right. Uh, we had three fellows that finished the study from Africa, all virtual, and also a lady from Italy and, um, uh, and uh, another student from from Colombia, but there were many others. We just invited uh, some of them to give some comments and, and share some ideas with us. And I am almost finished. This is the group of fellows that the countries, so it has become like a global <laughs> school uh, with more ma mainly participation from Latin American students. But as you can see from the list, you, we have Bangladesh, Chile, Colombia, Haiti, Honduras, uh, Iran, Jamaica, Mali, Puerto Rico, Zambia, Venezuela, Uruguay, Suriname. So now that it's virtual in English and also Portuguese, it has changed very much. And there uh, you have the, the amount of fellows that were 400. And finally, uh, we, we published a book in, uh, in, in partnership with the Fundación Getulio Vargas from Brazil. And the book is in Spanish, in English, and Portuguese. You wrote an article, right? You wrote an article? No, 
no. life, but not able to see <laughs> that one. Uh, uh, but, but I invited you, huh? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I invited you and you did. Okay. So, I, because, you know, I do so many things that I sometimes I forget. <laughs> so this is what I wanted to share with you. Um, it has been for us a fantastic journey. Um, I'm very happy. Today I received an email from Judith Burungi. She's from Kenya. She finished the diploma in last year. She was in the ceremony and she was very happy because she was selected as a pioneer woman in I don't know what program in, in Africa. And she was very grateful. So it's very, 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 very rewarding. And uh, I would like to invite uh, now um, my dear colleagues from Universidad de Mendoza. I see that I have uh, Carolina and I have Osvaldo, Mariela. Eh, Mariela, Carolina, Osvaldo, me gustaría que nos den algunas palabras. Pueden hacerlo en español y yo hago una traducción no simultánea, si les parece bien. Si pueden prender la cámara y el micrófono y los escuchamos. Acá estamos viéndolos en la sala de Zoom. No sé quién quiere. Ahí está Carolina. Eh, I want Hola. to tell you, before, before, uh, déjame contar quién es Carolina. Okay. Uh, I want to tell you that the university not only offer us the help of the tutoring of the, of the professors to the students. Carolina, she's absolutely genius with our dear Reitme that he, he's also in the course. So they manage all the pre-training and all the training in the week, uh, the students in a platform that the university has for the students. So they know who participated, how many times, if they comply, if they didn't comply. So then we can be sure if they are able to, um, to do the diploma, the research for the diploma or not, that they have infinite patience. And also this year was very challenging because we had three languages and many more students than the year before. So I, Carolina, dije en inglés cuánto te admiro y toda la ayuda que nos diste con Raidme en usar la plataforma de la universidad. Y también está nuestro querido Osvaldo Marianetti, is the, is, is, he's the director of the uh, international area of the university. He has been also very, very helpful. And Mariela, she's an engineer, and she was one of the tutors of the, of the fellows. Um, no sé quién quiere dar algunas palabras primero, si Carolina, Osvaldo o Mariela. Y no sé si hay alguien más de la universidad. No sé, no, no sé si los veo a todos acá en el Zoom. Carolina, se te ve muy bien, ¿eh? Gracias, gracias Olga. Yo entiendo perfecto inglés. Ah, hablo bueno. Ah, si quieres hablar inglés. No voy a hablar en inglés. Ah, no, bueno, te agradezco. No vale. <risa> Preferiría hablar en castellano traducido, va a ser cortito. No sé, okay. ingeniero, si usted quiere comenzar. Osvaldo, ¿estás ahí? No sé si está. Está Mariela, Mariela la veo atenta ahí. <risa> Acá estoy. Bueno, nada, Olga, empiezo yo si querés. Eh, cualquier cosa después les paso la posta a alguno. Dale. Bueno, primero que nada, gracias a todo el equipo de la Escuela de Gobernanza de Internet, que realmente para nosotros ha sido un honor poder eh, formar parte de este grupo y poder asistirlos en un montón de, de tareas operativas y, y académicas. Nosotros en la universidad tenemos eh, varias ingenierías, unas cuantas, en telecomunicaciones, en informática en electrónica, bioingeniería, etcétera. Tenemos eh, varias carreras de ingeniería, así que para nosotros todos estos temas, todo lo que tiene que ver con las perspectivas de Internet en Latinoamérica, eh, todo lo que tiene que ver con el ciberdelito, la seguridad, la privacidad, eh, el impacto que produce Internet en la economía y demás, en, tanto en la educación como en el trabajo, en el desarrollo, para nosotros son temas muy importantes de los cuales por supuesto, este, formamos a nuestros estudiantes en eso, así que formar parte de este equipo tan maravilloso y con, con esta diversidad que ustedes logran este, de estudiantes de todas par partes del mundo, realmente eh, es un honor. Así que, ahora, eh, ahora por supuesto, traduco. que cuentan con el apoyo. Uh, Carolina says that she's very grateful for being part of this group that is diverse and the, the engineering, ¿cómo se dice? Facultad, faculty. Sí. The engineering faculty has diverse, uh, very diverse um, careers in engineering. When I studied, it was only one, uh, electronic and electricity, uh, but it has mm -hmm. grown, and also the university has grown a lot with other areas, like they have medicine, um, enfermería, ¿cómo se dice enfermería? 
a nursery, a, a architecture, the, the really the university has, has grown very, very much, which for me it's very, it is an honor to be part of that of that group of people. And, and, and for them it's very interesting to, to share with us the, the work of this group and the diversity that we, that we bring to their work. Sí, Carolina, ahora ya traduje. Eh, gracias, Olga. Bueno, eso, nada más que agradecerles de formar parte. Eh, por supuesto que cuentan con todo nuestro apoyo. La universidad eh, siempre va a estar a favor de, de colaborar con este tipo de, de eventos y organizaciones porque realmente para nosotros es un honor tener estudiantes. Si bien ha sido un desafío grande, como dijo Olga al principio, los tres idiomas este, han sido intensos y la cantidad de gente, como va creciendo año a año, tal cual vos dijiste, Realmente ha sido un gran desafío, pero estamos muy contentos de haberlo asumido y, y bueno, gracias por darnos la oportunidad. Thank you, Carolina. She says that they are very happy to have uh, gone through this uh, this challenge. That this year was very challenging with a lot of much more students than the year before and three languages. But she and I want to also stress the fact that Raidne was working with Carolina all the time and he has always been there. He's so good. I mean, he's so helpful. And I don't know, write me if you are there. You want to say something? I, th I, I see your picture here. Okay. Uh, when, when, when you have the, when you want. Uh, thank you, Carolina. Uh, Mariela um, Ovaldo. Mariela, Mariela, uh, Hola, ¿qué tal? I want to tell you that Mariela is uh, from the university, but she lives in the south of the province. Uh, it's the, prov the province where I was born, which is called Mendoza, but she's in the south. So the university has different branches in the province. Les estaba contando que, que sos del sur de la provincia, que la universidad tiene varias, varias eh, sedes en, en el oeste de Argentina. Y bienvenida, Mariela. Muchas gracias, Olga. Eh, un placer para mí estar compartiendo con ustedes esta, esta reunión. Como dijo Carolina, eh, para nosotros ha sido un, un lindo desafío desde el año pasado poder trabajar en conjunto con ustedes, con el maravilloso equipo que, que ustedes componen. Y, y para nosotros trabajar desde la una universidad como tutores, nosotros desde aquí de San Rafael, poder desde este pequeño lugarcito poder dar un aportar un granito de arena, este, la verdad que es un, un honor muy grande, así que bueno, simplemente agradecida y, y bueno, este año esperemos contar con, con un lindo grupo de estudiantes que, que trabajen con nosotros en la Diplo y, y leer los trabajos tan maravillosos que son capaces de hacer después de, de todas las jornadas que han tenido con estos temas que son tan actuales y que, que cada vez representan desafíos más grandes para nosotros, así que eh, muchísimas gracias y bueno, en, para lo que necesiten aquí estamos. Gracias, thank you, Mariela. She's grateful for for what we are doing together, and she she's interested also in. She said something interesting. She's she is interested in, in reading the materials that will be the developed by by students this year. That last year were very at least the ones that I that review were very very interesting. Thank you, Mariela. Don Osvaldo está por ahí. Sí, pero tiene sus eh, está muteado, creo. Está un mute. Bueno, no importa. Quiero agradecer tanto a Raidme por, por haber trabajado con Carolina codo a codo, aunque no están... Raidme vive en Venezuela, Carolina en Mendoza, Argentina, y sin embargo han trabajado en conjunto de una manera increíble. Los dos, muy Raidme agradecidos. Raidme es un genio. Raidme es un genio, totalmente de acuerdo. Como todos los que están en esta sala y virtualmente. Eh, pero, pero él está siempre, ¿no? Uh, so he, he, we are very grateful also for, for Raidme partnering with Carolina in, in managing all the platform with the students from day zero until the end when they finish their diploma. That, that and in, in total, it's like, like six months of work for the students. Um, okay, I would like now to switch to my dear friends here. I will, I will go to Sandy. Sandy, are you there? Sandy, querida? ¿Estás? Ah, qué bonita. Con hola, esos, hola. Fondos, esos fondos coloridos que tiene Sandy. I like your background. Así, es personal. ¿Cómo estás, querida? Sandy, hola, querida. Saludos a todos. How are you? Um, I will do the question in English and you answer and then I translate. Uh, Sandy, uh, has sido becaria de la escuela, estuviste en Buenos Aires en la última edición. Eh, 
Quisiera que nos cuentes tu experiencia como becaria y qué ha significado para vos haber participado. Sé que ahora sos una persona muy conocida, que has recibido reconocimientos y que sos una especialista en, en temas de ciberseguridad en Honduras. I would like that, that Sandy share with us her, uh, her impressions after being a fellow. She was a fellow more than once. And also, but now she's very well recognized for her work in cybersecurity in, with her own uh, work with her uh, NGO, Honduras Cibersegura. And uh, now she's, she's renowned uh, by her experience and knowledge. So how, how do you see this, this journey that you have done with the school? Okay. Eh, bueno, antes que nada, quiero decir que la escuela y Olga son culpables de que yo me haya enamorado de la ciberseguridad. Soy informática hace muchos años, sin embargo, me dedicaba al área de desarrollo. Eh, desarrollo directamente 100% hasta el año 2018, que fue mi primera vez que fui becaria de la escuela y tuve la oportunidad de estar en Washington. Y mi experiencia, Olga, ha sido mil por ciento positiva, porque mi, eh, mi perfil profesional y los conocimientos adquiridos han sido, no, es que no tengo manera de decir y, y sin exagerar, ha, ha sido mi universidad, la escuela, porque me permitió tener, eh, adquirir conocimientos, crear ese networking eh, con personas de todo el mundo. O sea, tengo amigos ahora en África, en Europa, en todo el continente americano, y no solo amigos, sino que persona, personas con las que trabajo día a día en el área de ciberseguridad. Y voy a hacer un énfasis que somos muchas las mujeres con las que hemos tenido la oportunidad de crecer profesionalmente en la escuela, Olga. Uh, thank you, Sandy. Uh, she, she said that she fell in love with cybersecurity after the first school that she attended, that was in 2018. That school was, we call it Cyber South School of Internet Governance because it was f mm, the program was very much focused on cybersecurity. It was very good. It was the idea from the Organization of American States. And since then, she has been involved. And now she's, she's a very well-recognized professional in in cybersecurity, and now she's grateful because she has friends all over the world, and not only friends, but uh, colleagues where she can share experience and to whom she can share experiences and knowledge and working opportunities. Ya traduje todo, Sandy, si quieres seguir. Okay. Adicionalmente, fíjate que no me permitió crear y después nació exactamente en el año 2019 cuando tuvo la oportunidad de estar Claudio aquí en Honduras, Claudio Lucena. Nació la idea de crear Honduras Cibersegura, que es una asociación, ¿verdad? Que lo que hacemos es apoyar, concientizar a todas las áreas de manera completamente gratuita, a escuelas, a padres, a madres en temas de ciberseguridad, la prevención de los ciberdelitos, eh, también al sector público y sector privado. Entonces, porque eh, conocimiento adquirido, que yo lo aprendí esto en la escuela en el 2018, alguien lo dijo y no recuerdo quién, y lamento no recordarlo, conocimiento adquirido y no compartido es conocimiento perdido. Y eso marcó mi vida en ese aspecto y vamos a seguir haciendo réplica de todos los conocimientos y capacitar a todas aquellas personas que se pueda a, en el concientizarlos, más que todo en el tema de ciberseguridad. Pero eh, eso es como dar un poco de lo que he recibido de la escuela, porque aparte a mi perfil profesional ha crecido de una manera increíble, y tú lo has dicho Olga, sí he recibido muchos premios, eh, incluso he sido reconocida dos años consecutivos en el Top Woman Cybersecurity Latinoamericano por Wansi, y este año también he sido nominada, pero yo voy a decir y voy a, a recalcar de nuevo tú has sido en mi caso, y lo Sos como mi mentora y la escuela fue mi casa donde nací en ciberseguridad. Gracias, Sandy, querida. Thank you, Sandy, so much. I didn't know that Honduras Cibersegura was, was something that you did together. Ah, just an outcome. Spin-off of the school. <laughs> uh, uh, well, Sandy is, uh, I have to summarize, uh, maybe I forget something. Uh, she says that uh, from from the when she participated in the school, she started to do several things uh, related with cybersecurity, and also Honduras Cibersegura with Claudio, who is here with us. And it seems to be the case that it, it was born in in the school, the the idea, which I didn't, I, I think I knew, but I didn't remember. 
and uh, that now she's well recognized and she has received several awards and she's grateful for the school. Thank, thank you, Sandy. You want to get uh, decir algo más? You want to add something more? Okay. Eh, espero que existan muchas infinitas escuelas del sur, ¿verdad? de la gobernanza del internet, que siga creciendo, que si este año fueron 300 becarios, el otro año sean 400, 500, 600, porque no sabes, tal vez no eres consciente, la escuela no es consciente del impacto que crea en nuestra vida a nivel profesional, no solo es en el Bogli, porque si te creamos lazos de amistad muchos, algo otros solo nos vemos y saludamos, pero a nivel profesional nos crea un impacto increíble y nos lanza y nos hace apasionarnos por un área específica. Lo mío en ciberseguridad es, son los derechos humanos en el ciberespacio, ¿verdad? Pero, eh, Olga, y espero que tu escuela siga todos los años, por muchos años más. Sí, fui becaria y eh, ya me ha invitado como panelista, he estado ahí presente, pero voy a ser un estudiante de por vida de la escuela. El resto de mi vida voy a estar en la escuela porque esto nos abre puertas y nos abre puertas, lo miro como mujer, a mí me abrió puertas que mi país no tenía, ¿verdad? Entonces espero que la escuela siga abriendo puertas a muchas más mujeres como yo. Bueno, me van a hacer llorar al final. Um, thank you, Sandy. She's very grateful. She says that it opened many doors to her and uh, then she hopes that they will have many schools in the future with many more students. Um, Tenemos a Raidme y Osvaldo. ¿Estás Osvaldo? Hola, sí. Hola Osvaldo, buenas, buenas tardes, noches uh -huh. en Argentina. Bueno, ¿Cómo va? Buenas noches, buenos días. Aquí estamos. Bueno, nada, que quería compartir contigo algunos comentarios sobre, no sé si pudiste escuchar lo que, lo que mostramos, lo que dijo Carolina y quería algunas impresiones sí. tuyas sobre, sobre nuestro, nuestro conjunto trabajo desde hace ya dos años. Sí, eh, escuché todo lo que contaron Carolina y, y Mariela. Eh, suscribo absolutamente a lo que dijeron. Y bueno, no quiero darte tanto trabajo como traductora, así que simplemente eh, contar que <coughs> desde el segundo semestre de 2021 que empezamos a, con la universidad a trabajar en conjunto con ustedes eh, y llegamos a concretar el formato de la diplomatura. Realmente ha sido una experiencia eh, sumamente atractiva, una iniciativa que, que de alguna manera queremos continuar en el tiempo eh, y escuchando recién las palabras de Sandy, también queremos que se siga repitiendo y que esta diplomatura siga aportando capacitaciones y, y formando recursos humanos como lo que acabamos de escuchar. Así que simplemente eh, afirmar el compromiso de la universidad en continuar trabajando en conjunto y, y colaborativamente y sumando más, así como esta vez eh, los colegas brasileros no, nos apoyarán en las tutorías, eh, creo que se trata de eso, de, de sumar, así que, que muchísimas gracias por, por la posibilidad de estar presentes aquí en este encuentro. Eh, un saludo a todos nuevamente y a seguir, a seguir adelante. Muchas gracias, Osvaldo. Osvaldo is grateful for the partnership that we have done with the university and he hopes that the Brazilian colleagues will help us with the, with the Portuguese uh, documents that we have to talk about and <laughs> define it. Uh, muchas gracias, Osvaldo. Gracias por... Osvaldo is the, the, the director of the postgraduate area of the university and uh, he has been managing all the all the team working with uh, all the all the professors it's not only mariela and and um carolina but also there are there are like 10 other teachers in the university that have been helping with with the with the um, um, research 
¿Está Raidme por ahí? ¿Está Raidme por ahí? Ok. Ya, ya vendrá. Bueno, ahora, uh, now I will change to the floor to my, my dear colleagues here with me, Claudio and, and Mark. Um, we can do oh, it in English, yeah. so I have some, some rest for <laughs> to my, new, my new profession. <laughs> um, uh, Claudio was a fellow in... Well, can you put 2015. that? In 20... Oh, microphone. Ah, ahí está, mira. Um, me, me das el micrófono. Thank you. Uh, Claudio was a fellow Hello. in 2015. Ah, está Ra Hola, Raidme, ¿cómo estás? ¿Me escuchas? Bien, bien, bien. Saludos. Uh, nada, uh, I wanted to thank you. Uh, we were talking about you with Carolina when she was uh, remembering all the work that you did. And um, Quisiera dar unas pequeñas gracias por la oportunidad de trabajar en equipo con Carolina, con Olia y con todos los miembros de la Universidad de Mendoza durante el resto que fue durante la pandemia, trabajar en, en la actividad. Eh, si me escuchan, por favor. Se escucha, se escucha como con un sonido de fondo, eh, como si hubiera okay. un, un sonido de fondo que no sé qué es. Se escucha muy bajito, pero, eh, pero bueno, nada, yo quería agradecerte. I wanted to thank you for all your help. And also Carolina mentioned that you are, you are really special and you are always there for her work. That you both have done a fantastic um, group a uh, couple of, of partners in, in helping us with with the fellows in all the stages for the, the pre-training the the week and then in the diploma so thank you very much right me and i will i want to ask uh, claudio here um a question he, he was a fellow in in 2015, 2015 san in san jose de costa rica you didn't know the school right no, I didn't. Tell I, us the story. Uh, good morning, good evening, everyone. No, I didn't know about the school. We 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 met we by met chance in Geneva. In Geneva. By chance, we, uh, he, was, because the he was alone in a, in a, in a table, and I said, "Yeah, well, let's talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> he seems to be bored." Uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> I was an unauthorized ambassador of the following IGF because okay. it would be held in João Pessoa, okay. which is in my state, uh, in in Brazil. Uh, and I was there to observe. I, ha I had been writing and researching on internet governance for some time, but I had never had the opportunity to interact in the environment. Uh, it's been a door opener for me. I've been, uh, and this is something interesting. I had some space for research and to debate and to discuss in Europe. I was based in Brussels and, and Portugal then, then afterwards in, in, in DC. I was pretty much involved in the global space, but I didn't have a door open to the Latin America environment, okay. which in, in yeah. the end is my home. Yeah. And now I can have in this 10 years, Olga, not only I have taken part in the events uh, that are held in Brazil by the by Brazilian steering committee, uh, but I also have taken part in, in, um, in the Argentinian School of Internet Governance in many, almost all of the uh, editions of the South School of Internet Governance. I, ha I have helped uh, Sandy and friends from Honduras set up the Internet Governance, the National then, yeah, uh, IGF in Honduras. Yeah. Uh, we have participated in initiatives in Peru, in Colombia, so I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful, um, among many other things, for the fact that I'm back in the terrain, yeah. back in the environment in Latin America, which, which is where we are supposed to, yeah. to assist and, and to we, cooperate. Where we belong. <laughs> yeah, I'd really love to, 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 th to use this space here to thank you, Adrian and, and Oscar Mesano, uh, for the bravery to, to bring these, the school out of the main capitals with the, where the best infrastructure is usually located. Uh, it was tremendous work to make it happen this time, but I think we, we made an, an awesome impact. Being uh, able, having the necessity, having the, 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 the task to mobilize local community, I have understood how hard it, internet governance is not an intuitive concept. This is something very interesting. <coughs> and the school helps a lot in developing that. So having the, 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 the need and the task to disseminate the idea of internet governance with the local community, with the press, with the universities, local authorities, social so so society, uh, I, I understood, and now I can measure before and after the school, how important it is to have the school in this environment, to engage students, to engage universities, to engage civil society, uh, 
so that they now understand w w what happens there. Uh, the fact that the, fr the fellows from University of, of, of Mendoza are taking a third step now, because there was a second step, uh, apart from the intensity of the days of the school, you have managed to put up an onboarding program some years ago that's very important. It's hard to come into a week that is so intense with no knowledge of, in, of what internet governance is and make it right. So preparing an onboarding program was already a, a f phenomenal first step. Now you're putting a post uh, production step, which is the, the writing of this diploma. I would like to, to say to, uh, to Osvaldo that we are coming up with a help team in Portuguese, Osvaldo. We're <laughs> <laughs> trying to formalize this, this, this help. Uh, with Portuguese uh, professors that are able to help you uh, analyzing and evaluating this, this papers. And uh, just to, to close, to, to, to uh, I, I think I have uh, finally found a nice way to communicate with my uh, local community and to make them aware that the importance of understanding internet governance nowadays and after a phenomenon like the, the, like the South School in my, in my hometown in Campina Grande is clear because we are not dealing with an aspect of human life. We live, the uh, digital ecosystem is where we live now. It's our home. It's part of who we are. And it's very difficult to take care of something that we don't know well. So that, that notion is very much helped by uh, internet governance schools in general, but particularly by the design and by the approach of the South School on Internet Governance of the South School Internet Governance. Thank you very much once again. I want to thank you also for, for always recognizing the, <coughs> the value that had for you the school. Uh, that, that's, that's, very, that, that's very good for us. And, uh, and, and all the passion that, that, you, that you put in, in all the things that we did in, in Campina Grande. That was very, very, very challenging. Huh? It, was <laughs> it was challenging. Estaba <laughs> carcito? Okay. Oscar, ¿estás ahí? Oscar is, is our windsurf in Latin America. We have a windsurf in Latin America, which is Oscar Mesano. He founded internet in, in many countries. All the, all the internet exchange points in Latin America were. OK, he, he can, uh, can, can you, can you, hola? Uh, um, could you enable uh, Mr. Mesano, Oscar Mesano, the. Vos no lo ves? Hoy no me veo tan mal. Ayer que no había dormido, me vi en la pantalla y me quería morir. Me quería morir. Ok, eh, ok. Um, Okay, Let, let's follow with Mark, my dear Mark. Um, tell us your experience in the school. I, I, I knew Mark, it's, it's a nice story. Um, there was a group of uh, Next Gen in Buenos Aires, right? In 2015, and my assistant was, I, 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 I pushed her for becoming, but finally she had a health problem and she couldn't. By the key, Mark had to get to know her, and we ex we, we started to get in touch through through San, uh, no Sandy no what se llama uh, Sally, and uh, since then we have been exchanging some some comments and uh, um, I think we met uh, and and then you went to the school in in Rio in Rio that I couldn't go because uh, I had a problem a family problem, but I attended online. And since then, he has been a fundamental partner of the school, uh, an informal, fantastic partner of the school. Uh, can, can you share with us your experience and, and your thoughts? Thank you very much, o Olga. So yeah, to me, the school has been always a valuable asset because it's very different from the other things that exist in internet governance. I, I think that's the thing that I would like to leave as the message here. Because in internet governance, I see only two models usually. One is our very closed courses, where you select the students to a degree that they have to be um, vice minister of something to attend or a PhD. So that's one type of course with like 30 people. And then there are the self-taught courses. There are for everyone, but at the same time, they don't have any type of support. 
in the South School, it does exactly the middle ground, this middle route where you get a bigger cohort, you get more people, it's more inclusive and accessible, but at the same time, these people don't get left to their own devices. And that kind of middle ground, I think, is the way we have to do things moving forward because the topic of internet governance keeps growing. We need to capacitate more people every time. And with this very tailored models for specific people, that's really good when you want to train like officials from governments and things like that. But at the moment that you start to need to really capacitate, let's say, 200 journalists, 300 lawyers, at that point, the model doesn't scale. And it's this model that you guys are innovating that is really pushing this sort of thing forward. And like I keep saying, like I, I sound like a broken record at this point, but it really was momentous to do the event in the countryside of Brazil. Right, it is nothing that we should uh, underscore. It, it really is something very important because when it gets to the point where you can say, we did this successfully, it removes the excuse that it would be impossible, that it, it would be too difficult. So with a few very engaged people, a lot of goodwill, the school was carried out successfully. I saw Adrian running around like a crazy person for four days, but it still got done, right? So it's the sort of thing that we need to tell people. We need to be in the space of saying, hey, this worked out. We got a lot of people. There were a lot of foreigner people there right, like to Brazil, many people from outside, it worked out, the, the airports didn't somehow implode, <laughs> the infrastructure didn't somehow implode, it just took a little extra effort, but it was worth it, because now, when we look at the, the students, even from the local university, we are engaging them at the IGF remotely right now, okay. several of them are in touch with us, and they're, sa they're following the sessions, and this is the sort of thing, it's transformative, you're really bringing a new resource, a new way of doing things. So that's why I'm so passionate about this project, right? Like it is a different way of doing things and I enjoy different ways of doing things because they sort of bring new options. So yeah, uh, always glad to be part of this and um, anybody who wants to learn more about the organization of the school in the Brazilian countryside, please reach out to these three people because yes, it involved challenges, but it also brought a lot of rewards. And, that, and that's what we should be looking towards, right? Like, who are we benefiting? Are, are, are we getting value out of this? And to me, the answer is yes. We're bringing like, infinite uh, amounts of, of benefit out of this because we are qualifying people that otherwise would be excluded from the system. And this is what the IGF is all about. This is what we keep talking about in loop here. Uh, any session you enter is how to include, how to include, how to include. So we need to value the initiatives they're actually doing that so those will be my general comments uh, how, how how did you see the interaction with your experience in, in icon because you are quite involved in in gnso and many activities uh, uh, is, is the, the school did help uh, how, how do you see the both worlds interacting um icon is interesting because when you land in a fellowship or an action program it's really good for inclusion in the names and numbers environment. So you qualify people a lot in that, but they do not put emphasis on understanding internet governance. So it is expected that the person has a background or, or a soft understanding ahead of time. So even in terms of entrance, we have a challenge there already when you're trying to engage with ICANN at that level. The person needs to have found a resource and capacitated themselves. So to me, it works with synergy, right? We can bring people who did the, the South School. Now, the thing that I kept telling to all of them, now you're qualified to apply for these fellowships. Now you have the basis that you need to write a text that people will say, okay, this person is knowledgeable enough that they would be able to follow the, the sort of meeting. So it is, I, I consider it sort of a ladder, I, I, if we were to say it that way. You know, you get this initial capacitation that then empowers the person to take on more challenges and more uh, fellowships. And that's exactly the thing we want, right? We want people to keep growing and to enhance the stre strength of the 
Latin American community and the global community. It's interesting that what you say. Uh, ICANN was the focus of my PhD. And I studied, I never participated in an ICANN meeting um, during the PhD. And I knew, I thought I knew the organization and I thought I knew their dynamic. So I went, my first meeting was in Sao Paulo in 2006. And I said, wow, I don't understand anything. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is different. Everyone was speaking English in a, in a Portuguese speaking country. This is crazy. Nobody speaks <laughs> local language. What happens with people that don't understand English? And they told me, but you speak English. Yes, I do, but what happens with the local? So I, I, and I, every time I say this, people tell me, oh, I didn't understand nothing either. So I, I, it happened to me the same. So I think the school, uh, this is also why I thought that the school was a good idea to have a platform. And the good thing is that I can consider a good uh, input if, the, if the those who request a fellowship did participate in the school so that they think that it's it's a good uh, background and uh, right me are you there uh, sí, me sí, te bueno, escucho. quería hacer quería hacer un pequeño recordatorio eh, luego de mi participación en la escuela en 2014 que fue el primer trabajo que es parte de la comunidad de, de internet y de todo lo relacionado eh, me permitió entender y conocer a través de la escuela la visión de nuestros colegas del Caribe sobre todos los temas relacionados con la parte técnica, la parte social y la parte de leyes, de cómo enfocan los temas de, de gobernanza internet. Para mí fue una experiencia enriquecedora y le agradezco mucho esa oportunidad. Gracias. Thank you, Raidme. Raidme was a fellow in 2014 in Trinidad and Tobago in Port of Spain. And the good thing that we could do with him and other colleagues from Venezuela, we had some budget uh, available. We paid also his ticket, uh, which is something that usually we cannot do because our budget is limited. And it's also difficult to find tickets and it, it takes a lot of, um, of, of uh, logistics but uh, we, we could bring right me and since then he has been working somehow with us now it's part of our team and we are we are very grateful for his help and muchas gracias right me por toda tu ayuda además they have they have partnered so well with carolina from mendoza and the university that they 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 are really a great team like all the team that we have, we have an, uh, other members of the team that are not online and are uh, very, very, very helpful. We have Lucas, he, he manages all the, now that the video and the hybrid thing is part of the environment and uh, he, he manages all the videos. And also uh, Oscar is uh, our mentor, Oscar Mesano. Está, está en la llamada, uh, Oscar? Okay. Uh, and uh, we have um, um, Ezequiel, who is our webmaster and um, so it's a small team, but um, powerful team. Uh, we have a comment in the chat, which is very nice. I will, it's in Spanish, but I will read in English. Um, I am from a very small town called Justo de Ractara, which I know because it's near where I was born. Uh, there's San Luis. San Luis is a province of Argentina, <coughs> which is um, uh, by Mendoza, which is my province. Um, Argentina, with less than 20,000 inhabitants. I'm very grateful of being uh, a fellow and for uh, have been partnering and, and learning and knowing such a nice uh, human group of people and professionals. It has been a very rewarding and enriching experience. I am from uh, security of information and it was a very, very nice experience. Thank you very much. The name is Pablo. Ah, Pablo. Uh, Pablo. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Pablo, for your nice words. I, I read them in English, uh, so everyone can understand, and, and the recording is in English. I don't know. We have very few minutes. Um, do we have any comments from fellows in the room? Any comments, ideas? Um, remind me your name. Remind me your name that I always. Maria. Maria. Um, vou falar em português. Sim, okay. I, I translate português. <laughs> Eu primeiro queria parabenizar a todos pela iniciativa. É, a gente sempre fala da necessidade de ter vozes, né, é, que possam trazer diversidade à discussão. 
mas poucas vezes a gente fala em preparar essas vozes. Né? E esse é, essa é uma etapa crucial para que a gente tenha uma participação efetiva, é, de qualidade, e que também possa trazer para as nossas regiões a ideias que possam é, incentivar também os legisladores, todo o espaço de governança da internet, a, a progredir e a caminhar, mas com algo que traga, como você comentou no início, Olga, a, nossas peculiaridades. Né? A, então, primeiro, queria parabenizar a vocês, e, segundo, a fazer uma pergunta, como vocês veem os próximos passos? Né? Cláudio falou o primeiro, o segundo e o terceiro, o quanto vocês já avançaram. E a provocação é a seguinte, quando a gente fala do Sul, né, é, como vocês enxergam a integração de outras vozes é, do Sul nessa escola que vocês é, construíram tão, é, de maneira tão bela? Né? E a gente vê os depoimentos aqui. Muito Qu obrigada. Quais, quais vozes você está pensando... É eu estava pensando como mais a gente vai estar entregando os, a, a África, a, ah. quando a gente pensa no, na, no sul global, aí, a, outras vozes que poderiam estar é, junto conosco, nas suas peculiaridades, trazendo a nossa visão. Lembro que o último IGF né, foi também na Etiópia, e muito se falou da necessidade de integrar Sim. essas vozes. É, many thanks, Maria. I will try to summarize what she said. É, she She, uh, she says that uh, she finds the project very uh, very interesting and also bringing diversity in, into into this training program. And she asked two questions. One is, which are the next steps? And also, um, how do we could integrate more other voices from perhaps the global south or the developing world? And uh, okay, uh, it's okay if I respond in English. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, next steps is the Argentina School of Internet Governance. We are working on that. We have also the Argentina School that will be virtual this year with a different format. We want to do um, not panels, but we want to do more, uh, um, como digo, profundos, uh, in, 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 in deep presentations. Like one, one specialist will talk about one hour of a specific thing. So we want to do a different format and see how it works. We have partnered a uni another university in Buenos Aires who will grant um, certifi uh, Fortinet certifications for those students who are uh, comply with the, with the evaluations. This is totally new. Uh, it, it, it's a limited number, but I think it's a, it's a very interesting start. Uh, it's Universidad de Escalabrín de Ortiz, no? Uh, from Buenos Aires. It's the only university in Latin America that offers uh, um, university training in cybersecurity, specific in cybersecurity. It's the first one. It's organized by a very renowned op a specialist in, in Argentina, Pablo Lázaro, with many uh, specialists from uh, Latin America. So that's, that's a very, very good news that we partner them for the Argentina School of Internet Governance. So that's a different thing. And The Global South, it's challenging. Uh, we have to think about what we have been thinking about is including in the program of activities, specialists from Africa, from from other, from, from uh, we, we do have people from Europe and from North America, from Latin America, but honestly, I don't recall that we have specialists from Africa. That's something that we could think about. And maybe you both can help me because you know many people. So Maria, if you have any suggestion, uh, we are we are open to comments. Uh, hay más comentarios en el chat, no? Okay, I think we are on time. Any comments uh, from here? You have a mic or, he or here you have What another mic. Uh, we don't have much time, but I think we'll two or three comments. We are, we are on time. Thank you so much uh, for panelists and the audience. This is Ashrafur Rahman. I'm the coordinator of Bangladesh School of Internet Governance. And I want to uh, show you my gratitude, Olga and her team, for take this sort of initiative. Uh, because uh, actually, who is we are actually uh, trying to contribute uh, for the School of Internet Governance uh, for long-awaited program, these which we are trying to initiate. But uh, more, we are uh, awaiting more something like digital governance or AI governance which is the more relevant uh, from this era. So 
it's uh, our uh, what i should say uh, it's our opinion or we want you for the next step we can more take this sort of initiative or this sort of course you can align with the uh, school of internet governance and that's all thank you thank you we, we stay in touch we had fellows from bangladesh by the way yeah. some yes we had fellows from bangladesh from india from Af from Kenya, from Zimbabwe, from not many, but some, uh, which is uh, remarkable because of the time difference that <laughs> they want to take the credit. But you know, the when people is willing to learn, there's no limit. Okay, um, thank you very much. Muito obrigada. Many thanks to everyone for, for being with us. Uh, saludos a los amigos de Argentina, Venezuela, Honduras, Sandy querida, ya nos veremos en algún lugar, Raidme querido, eh, Carolina, eh, Ruth, eh, eh, Osvaldo, to todos los amigos, eh, y acá saludos de Adrián y de, y de Claudio y de, y, de, y de Mark y de toda la audiencia, les, les deseo que tengan en Argentina, América Latina, una buena noche y acá que tengamos un buen día. Adiós, gracias a todos. Bueno, muy lindo. Siempre me termino medio...